What I want to do next is I want to kind of get rid of these two stops we have down here, the product service stop and the file service stop. We're going to try and use Jasmine to do the same thing, but with Jasmine, we can start spying on the request. So we can start being real spies like 007 stuff. And we can actually start listening how many times the different methods are being called. We can start listening what they return, stuff like that. So we're going to try and use Jasmine to create kind of the same setup uh, that we have right here, but with some different, let's call them mocks instead, some Jasmine created objects that we can listen for events on. So let's just start out by creating the product service mock right here. So I'll just call it product service service mock. And let's just, that product service mock is going to be of the type any because it's not going to be a real product service. It's going to be something that's a little bit different than a real product service. So there we go. Now let's try and create it. And the way you create a service in Jasmine is that you start out by defining Jasmine and then you can say create object, uh, spy object, right? So the next thing you need to do is define what should this spy object actually be? What class should it represent? And in our case, this is the product service that we wanna represent, product service. And the final thing we can specify is what methods this product service should actually um, override. And, and what method should we listen for, right? So we need to at least add one. Let me try and save this and show you an error. Right now we're saying we want to listen for the product service, but we're not putting in any methods that we want to listen for. And that's actually going to bring an error uh, to the table. So let's have a look right here. Notice it says requires a non-empty array. So in our case, it's not non-empty. So there's, there's nothing in here right now, so it's empty. And we need to specify the method we want to kind of listen for. So let's go back to our stop. What are we listening for? We're listening for get products. So we'll grab the get products, go back up here, and we'll paste that in just as a string, and that's pretty much all we have to do. Now that error is gone. Now we know that we're listening for the product service, get products, and we can start using that for how many times was it called? What did you send in there? Da 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 da. We can start listening and spying on what actually happens with this specific method on the product service. So now that error is gone, everything looks fine. Now we just need to start using the product service. Now we can do that by adding it down here instead of the stop. We'll paste this in. Now we'll get a new error. And this one is kind of crazy, the error, because you don't, <laughs> when you see the error, it's like, what? I don't know who Ctor is, but he's kind of crazy. He's not a constructor. So Ctor is not a constructor. Okay, but who is he? Well, nobody knows, but the truth is, if we go back, we can fix this. The problem is right now we are using a class, but we have not created a class right here. We've actually created an object. So we need to explain to the provider that we are going to use not a class, but we're going to use a value. And in our case, that's all it takes. Now that we're using a value, we can put in an object instead of a class right here. And now the test will run again, and now we'll get a new error. That's perfectly fine. This error just explains that right now when I'm calling get products, I'm getting nothing back. So what we have right here is actually the same thing. If I scroll down to our stop, it's the exact same thing like doing this return undefined in our case down here, right? Or that's the same thing that we have right now. So we need to explain now to our Jasmine setup that we want to return this. We don't want to return nothing. We want to return off an empty array to get started, right? So let's get back to the top. How do we do that? Well, we can use this product service mark. Now notice this is an any, so you won't get any help from TypeScript right here. You just have to know this. We'll go in there and we'll explain to the system that we wanna, for this method, get products. Let's just put that in there, get products. We wanna, and this is strange, we wanna and, you just have to know it. And with the and, we can actually go in and say, we wanna have a return value, and that's actually what we're going to return for this specific method right here. So when we call get products on the service mark, we're going to return the value of an empty array. So now we have the same setup that we had with our stop right here and we can get rid of that. Let's see if everything runs again. Happy days, get rid of the stop. And let's just do the same for the file service. And I am going to later on use a method in the file service. I'm going to use the method called get file URL. So we're going to stop that one. So let's just get back to the spec file. We wanna stop that one. So go to the top again and just make another stop very quickly right here just to wrap this up. I'm just going to kind of make a new method right here, whoops. 
make a new method right here, boom, it's going to be the service for the file service, right? And I'm going to just copy these two guys. There we go. And I'm going to use the file service, not get products, whoops. I'm going to use the file service right here. That's going to be the file service. I'm going to say not get products, but what's the name of it? Let's just jump back to the component. The name was get file URL, right? That's the one I want to stub out right here or the one that I want to kind of fake or spy on. And there we go. Now we're going to use the file service and get the file URL. And what do we want to return there? Well, we are just going to, let's have a look again. We are going to end up with actually returning mm, a URL. So that's what we want to return. So in our case, let's just return a string right here for now, just to get this to work. It could be anything, but we're just going to return an empty string right now. Later, we'll add a URL in there. And that's it. Now we have these two guys available. And again, I'm going to go down and use value, not class, because this is actually an object now. And that just means that's the final thing. I can also get rid of this file service stop now. And I just removed my stops. And instead I'm using Jasmine that I can start using for some crazy testing later on. And don't worry, I'll show you this as we move forward. But it's that simple to kind of create these mock objects that we can then use inside our providers instead of making these small stops that won't really help us with anything at all. So that's it for this lesson. Let's see if everything's still green. It is. See you next time. Have fun.